Well, we talked all yesterday and this morning about taking care of the basketball and rebounding. And I don't know if we did either, but we played as a team. We made big plays when big plays needed to be made. And it all started with the, the four seniors we had on the court. Um, I, I know there were some defensive stops every once in a while, but our offensive plays, I thought, came at right times today. You also got a heck of a defensive player hmm. at the end to save the, uh, the lead, too. Uh, talk about that, running the, running um, the layup, wide open layup now. Like yeah. That. And um, hurt from the other game. If you didn't notice, she had a knee brace on today. Uh, from an injury just two days ago. Um, didn't know yesterday if she's going to be able to play. And uh, probably one of the most headstrong players, physically, mentally, emotionally, that I've ever coached. And uh, she takes our defense and, and makes it her own and really comes to play every game. I just had to try my best to catch her, and for that block, I just knew I had couldn't touch her, and try my best to just get all ball. Talk about the second block, then. <laughs> about ten seconds later, you got another. Just kick me through that one too. What um, it's unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't know what she was doing. It's no. Unconscious. <laughs> it's unconscious. Yeah, it just kind of happened. <laughs> Jackie, were you surprised that the game was such a half-court game? Yes, I was. I, I felt like it was our game to be taken. I, I felt like, in this, in, especially in the second quarter into the third and fourth, they weren't pressuring us like I thought they would in, in the full court. But I think that took us out of our mindset, too, because we, we had set up some press breakers in practice that I thought we could run on them and, and score some easy layups. So they kind of played a little bit softer, but played real tough defense in the half court. And uh, really, uh, their, their hedging on ball screens really frustrated us, and we couldn't find that open player. You guys took the ball to the basket aggressively a lot, though, and that's mm -hmm. where you created a lot of your We did. We did. Um, there was some set plays that we had that out, off of the hedge. Um, we saw some girls wide open underneath and cross-court passes, and, and they weren't just lobs because we knew if, if we lobbed it, they were going to catch the ball and, and catch up to it. You know, you said the other day that you were a freshman point guard just she doesn't know what she's doing, but mm -hmm. she sure plays like she knows what she's doing. She does. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> but sometimes I don't know what she's doing. Um, and sometimes I just, uh, I, I'm just glad to have her for another three years. It's going to be, it's going to be a fun ride. Lauren, talk about the free throws there at the end. You were kind of standing on the free throw line all alone. Were you thinking <laughs> anything other than make the free throws? <laughs> um, yeah, actually, whenever I was like a little girl, I would go outside and I would say, if I make both of these, we won the state championship. If I make one, we go to overtime. If I, make if I miss both, we lose it. So what went through my head, and I told the girls that before the game, and what went through my head is I was like, I better make both of these. <laughs> like, we need it. So that first time I made both, and then I went back, and I was like, all right, I at least just need to make one. I just got to make one. And, you know, I, I knew that that's what the team needed right there is just that extra, that extra point. Just like, so if they made the three at the end, they won it. Like, we, don't, we didn't want that to happen. And I think, uh, you know, I just had to focus. I just had to know that, like, I, that ball is going in the hoop, and that's exactly what I tried to do. Darn, when you made those two, they flagged off the first one. Do you know why they flagged the first one off? She yeah, stepped in. yeah. Uh, number forty to my right was. I think she was going to exchange with a different player, and that was when I had the ball. So right away, she knew that she uh, had the call, and their crowd was going nuts. But I don't know. I mean, it was a good call, I think, by the refs. But I think that their their crowd was just confused on the call, which is understandable if they didn't understand what happened. There was a know. timeout in between that yeah. free throw and the other two, and I think some people may have not understood that that had been called yeah. before she stepped back up to the line to shoot another one. That she was in the lane. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. She had stepped backwards <coughs> off the like she was getting off out the, the lane, yeah. like she was going to get off the off the free throw line. Jackie, talk about Crystal put off her points, maybe not quite there, but what's her defense? Defense, I mean, she's a shot blocker inside for us. Um, we try to get some pressure once they, you know, we try to pressure the ball sometimes, depending on the team. Tonight we didn't. But as soon as they turn that corner, I've got, I've got Krista Putoff standing right there at 6'2", with her hands straight up, ready to block shots. And that's, that's going to be hard to replace. So you were up, you were up nine hmm. at one point during the fourth, and OG kind of ramped up their defense, got a couple steals, cut it. 
down to as far as two. Mm -hmm. What's going through your mind at that point? That we were up nine about 30 <laughs> seconds ago. Um, should have called a timeout, should have done this, should have done that. But I told the girls before the game, I said, there's no should have, would have, should have, could have in this game. We're out. We're out for it. We're, we're, this is our opportunity. We're going to go grab it. So even if you make a bad play or, or turn the ball over, you got to think next play. And that's what I was doing as a coach, too. I said, should have, would have, oh well. It's over. Next play. Got to get to the next play. We got to figure out what we got to do now. Two point game. Let's get it and go. Watching you guys play all year, and in the last three games, the shot blocking, you guys have been incredible compared to I mean, just maturity and growing mm -hmm. game by game. Mm -hmm. And that just, that's not taught. That's just feel. That's just, you know, how, how the, the, the player feels and how she goes up strong with it. Um, and I don't know if there's a record out there, but I feel like it should be broken this year if there was. Jackie, I've asked the girls this one the last few years, building quite a resume, and it's time to step back and go, wow, I was just, you know, I've accomplished so much already. Keep going. Let's get some more. I, you know, I, I'm a competitor. I've always, I always have been. Um, and I think what I learned back in my days of playing for Versailles and playing for Bowling Green, and I feel like I missed a lot of chances. And I, I, I said back in the day, if I ever got the chance to coach, I'm going to push them to their full extreme because I really feel like I missed some chances because I didn't do something on the court, and I don't want them to walk away from this game thinking I could have done more. That's a good question. Um, they rallied around themselves. They, the seniors stepped up, I want to say January, and had a team meeting. And we just said, we're either going to get it done now or it's not going to get done. And a lot of emotions were thrown around, but there was nothing um, that I would ever take back from that situation. It was the best thing that we ever did, and we, we moved forward. We forgot, and we moved, moved forward. Like I said, next play, just keep on going. Lauren, you picked up two fouls really early. Mm -hmm. What's going through your head at that point, and what were you thinking you know, when you get back on the floor? Because the fourth floor, you were like, you know, going like your hair was on fire. <laughs> Yeah, I, when I got that second foul, I knew right away. I looked at coach, and I was like, I'm out. <laughs> That's a rule. You get a second foul, and then I looked at the clock, and there were seven minutes and one second left, and I was like, oh, I cannot sit out for seven minutes in a state championship game. But, you know, you live and you learn, and I know going into that second half, I cannot afford a quick third foul, and going into the fourth quarter, I can't even afford a foul. You know, they, get, they do a great job knocking down their free throws, and, you know, that could have been a game changer there if I, we started fouling and got them in trouble like that, and... You know, uh, you just got to be smart out there. I think my the first quarter, I just wasn't really using my head on the, some of the fouls, you know, moving the screen and stuff. And, I, I, you know, you live and you learn, like I said. Coach, I'm covering the University of Philly for the career. Uh, what do you see in uh, Chris that's going to be allowed to succeed over the next couple of years at Finley? What Finley doesn't realize is Chris has only played basketball one season outside of the regular season. And she's so raw, and she's got so much talent yet in her. And I can't wait to see what they bring out of her because there's so much more to that girl than than what they than what she's shown this year. Even um, she, I know she didn't have a lot of great scoring days, but and <laughs> defensively, you can't take her off the court. And uh, you know she's getting she's getting double team, triple team down the post. And uh, she's got great moves with her back to the basket, and those are hard posts to find uh, around the area. So I, I think it's just going to be a great, great four years for Krista. Thank you. Taylor, Lauren, you both won state titles before volleyball track. How's it feel to get one senior year to basketball? It's indescribable. Uh, I was telling someone out there, it's not only just like for the team where you're like, you feel on top of the world, but when you look up at that community, the whole town of Versailles had to be empty today because you look up there and you just, you know you made everyone proud, and I think that's a huge thing for us, you know. And you see the little girls in the stands, and that's where I was in fifth grade and sixth grade was I was either sitting on the bench being the water girl or I was up in the stands, and I just thought it was so neat. And I think that's such a huge thing for little girls to see that. And, you know, I, I think it's a great thing for us to experience this because not very many people do, and I'm so excited to bring the title back home to Versailles. 
She pretty much just killed that one. <laughs> what else to say to that? <laughs> Lord, when did you start thinking about getting right back here after last year? Right when I got that silver medal and a guy asked me, where are you going to play your last game at next year? And I said, right here. And I, ever since then, I mean, Chris brought up today, she said, you remember that one time? And I was like, yeah, I sure do. And so, you know, it was kind of ironic to be here. And, you know, when the season started, I didn't know how it was going to shake out. But we've had some great players step up. I can't stress that enough. And some just big time plays, that clutch moments that, you know, we turned an average team into a phenomenal team. And, you know, we're just a bunch of girls just playing the game of basketball. And, you know, we're not no studs, you know. We're, we're, not, not, no we're, not, studs. we're not going to no Division One playing basketball. We, we're just out there having fun. And what these seniors did was wrap their arms around the younger kids because that doesn't always happen in, in high school basketball. You've got an 18-year-old playing with a 14-year-old. They don't talk to each other during the middle of the day. They don't go out on weekends. But yet they were able to come together on the court and, and play some really good basketball. And every girl on our team, 1 through 16, knew their role on the court. They, they knew exactly what they had to do from the scout team all the way to the leading scorer and really leading rebounder. It was just it was a really special thing this year to happen. OK, any more questions? All right, thanks. Congratulations. Thank you. Not no stuff. Not no English kids.